The process of cell division that results in gametes is known as meiosis, sometimes known as reduction division. We refer to gametes as sex cells, such as sperm in men and egg in women. Meiosis is divided into the meiosis 1 stage and the meiosis 2 stage of cell division. There are four phases in meiosis 1, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1. Additionally, there are four phases in meiosis 2, prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. Meiosis 1, now, let's focus on the first stage of meiosis, known as meiosis 1. Prophase 1 commences with a diploid cell its chromatin contains two sets of chromosomes, one inherited from each parent. During this phase, the DNA in the chromatin replicates and condenses into recognizable X-shaped chromosomes and its identical sister chromatids of each chromosome. The chromosomes couple up with their corresponding counterparts in a fascinating process called synapsis, generating a tetrad made up of four sister chromatids. The true magic now begins with crossing over. Segments of alleles swap across chromatids during this genetic exchange event, creating brand new gene combinations. As meiosis 1 progress, the nuclear membrane vanishes, and spindle fibers emerge, guiding the movement of chromosomes. Metaphase 1, the moment of alignment, where homologous chromosomes line up at the cell's equator. Then comes anaphase 1, and the spindle fibers diligently separate the homologous chromosomes in each tetrad, pulling them to opposite poles of the cell. With telophase 1, one chromosome from each homologous pair takes position at separate poles, although they still remain in the form of sister chromatids. However, each chromosome is still composed of sister chromatids. Remember that the sister chromatids of each chromosome are no longer identical due to allelic exchange and crossovers. The spindle fibers then disappear and the nuclear envelope reforms around the chromosomes. Finally, cytokinesis occurs. Meiosis 1 ends with two genetically distinct haploid daughter cells. Each haploid cell contains only one set of chromosomes consisting of paired sister chromatids. Both cells now enter the next stage, meiosis 2. However, unlike meiosis 1, DNA is not replicated until meiosis 2 begins. Also in prophase 2, the nuclear envelope disappears and spindle fibers fan out from the two sets of paired centrioles. During metaphase 2, the chromosomes in each cell align at the equator and attach to spindle fibers at either pole. During anaphase 2, the sister chromatids of each chromosome separate and migrate to opposite poles. Once the sister chromatids separate, they are called chromosomes. Finally, in telophase 2, the spindle fibers disappear, the nuclear membrane regenerates, and both cells undergo cytokinesis. Meiosis 2 ends with four genetically distinct haploid daughter cells, each containing only one set of chromosomes.